Hi, hi, Kai. Um, hi, Hannah. Is Hannah, and I will be interviewing you today regarding your career journey with CPA Australia. So to start it off, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Hi, Hannah. Good afternoon. Um, yes, my name is Kai. I am currently the lecturer at Curtin University Malaysia. I am also the external engagement associate dean, taking care of industry relation, stakeholder management, partnerships, alumni relations of the unit of our faculty. I myself, I am a Mirian. I was born and grown up in Miri. After that, I did my study in Australia. I graduated in my master degree in taxation. After that, I joined an Australia company as an accountant. Could you share a bit of your personal journey with CPA um, via the experience-based pathway? Mm. The CPA pathway that I'm taking now, I mean, like I took, is called experience-based pathway. This pathway recognizes the business professional from diverse backgrounds. It means that it's not necessary to be someone from accounting. It can right. be someone from marketing, from management, as long as you have the proficient business experience. Mm, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Yes, you have proficient business experience um, in strategy planning, in managerial position, then you will have the chance, you will you will be able to get a chance to enter into the CPA program. So but so my main question is why what motivated you to pursue the CPA designation and like how has it impacted like your career today? Mm, this is indeed a good question. Um, as just now, as I say, um, after I graduated, I joined um, a company in Australia. It's a real estate property investment company. So besides accounting, actually, I did quite a lot of like finance, um, risk and return assessment, risk assessment, um, return assessment for our for our investor. And also this CPA program actually prepares the professional, not only as an accountant, it actually prepares us to become the strategy strategic business leader in a business, in a company. So that makes it so different, so prestigious. Um, the status is so different. That's good. So in a way, kind of like open doors to like, you know, possibilities and whatnot. Yes, true. So to me, I would say CPA program, um, this title um, is not just, um, it's, it's not just a, it's not just a normal professional pathway, actually is. Is to me is an investment in my career. It's a strategy. It sounds like it. Yeah, that's really really good to know that there's something that you could reap at the end of everything. You know, so especially for those who are looking forward to joining CPA, they kind of want to know, okay, what is it for me in the long run? You know, what do I get? So that's a very very good example. Mm, yeah, so even like yeah, even some of like um maybe I know like some of my students nowadays, um some of them like they graduate from marketing or from management right. or even from human resource management or other other expert, even for engineering student, um it's never too late for them if they are interested to go into business field, they mm -hmm. can always like start the program with the CPA, but that would be like from the foundation of the CPA program. Okay, so my next question is, um, so in what ways does CPA, the, the CPA program equip, equip its members with the knowledge and the skills necessary to kind of navigate and lead, especially in the landscape of the accounting profession? Mm. Just now, um, actually, I mentioned a term, I call it like um, the well-rounded skill set. Right. I think CPA Australia program is designed to equip the members with a well-rounded, with a set of well-rounded skills. So that includes, um, for, for, for the professional, I mean, for the CPA Australia program, what we are taking, we have, like, as we know, we have the foundation program. And now what we call it is like, professional program. So right. for the professional program, actually, um, all the candidates, they need to take six levels. Four are mandatory, four are compulsory, and the other two are elective. Okay. So under that four compulsory levels, they will need to cover, they will need to study financial reporting, strategic management, ethics and governance, and the last one is global strategy and leadership. Okay. So. And these are compulsory to those who want to yes. take the CPA. These four pebbles are the compulsory subjects, compulsory pebbles that um, the candidates will need to sit for. How does CPA Australia support 
beyond the initial designation. So more of like, you know, instead of staying relevant and effective, how did your journey lead you to become a member ambassador to represent CPA in their outreach in East Malaysia here as an influencer or as a leader, especially? People always say, okay, now you are a CPA Australia, um, you have that um, technical skill, you have that management skill, leadership skill. Um, that's it? Actually, no. I mean, like, what else CPA Australia can do for you? Um, especially some of the people, they say, um, um, the annual fee is a bit expensive. And um, what CPA Australia can, what else CPA what Australia can do yeah. for you? Yeah, I can support you. Okay. Um, actually, CPA Australia support us with our ongoing professional development through the continuous learning opportunities. So, as the member, even the associate members, we have the full access to a wide range of seminars, webinars, workshops, conferences, um, even some networking events that we can meet different stakeholders, different professional um, in the world. In the country. And, and yes. this is accessible to all its members. Yes, yes, true. Even associate, yeah, even associate member that have the chance Amazing. to meet, to go to the networking event, to meet different people. So. To me, I think CP Australia is not just, okay, you get the destination, get the title, yeah. okay, you are there. Actually not. It's just a continuous learning experience. There's plenty of continuous growing opportunity for all of us. Hmm. Mm. Then now come yeah. back to your second part of the question. Yeah. How did you become the leader? Okay, this is um okay. Just now, now let me um do a bit of personal sharing. Just yes. now I said um when I came back from Australia from Perth, I joined Kadim Malaysia as an accounting lecturer. So during that time, I had the opportunity to engage with various stakeholder, um especially and also like like parents, my students, or even like some colleagues. Um, I get the chance to meet with them and share my experience as. As a CPA and like especially my student when they ask me oh like where they should go after graduate what pathway they should take um that is the so first guide, guide them yes I guide them and also I start I started my connection with CPA Australia then mm -hmm. slowly um I joined Katin in 2019 then two years later I was appointed as the Associate Dean of External Engagement of Faculty of Business. Just now in the beginning, as I as I shared, um, this Associate Dean, um, the role I need to take care of um, stakeholder relationship, mm -hmm. partnerships with the industry, um, internship opportunity, graduate opportunities, um, and various projects. So from there, um, I facilitate a joint force between Kutin Malaysia and CP Australia. So last year we signed an MOU, a former MOU um, with CP Australia. Um, so because I was, we, we strongly reckon this joint force will serve as a catalyst for the meaningful changes in the accounting field of accountancy, especially yeah, yeah. in East Malaysia. Then from there, because I was the one who facilitated the MOU signing, um, who facilitated um, different events and activity with CPA Australia. So mm -hmm. um, I get like more connections, more engagement with CPA Australia. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah. yeah, then one day the business development team from um, in Malaysia, they approach me and say, oh, hey, Kai, um, now we would like to extend um, this membership ambassador program outside Australia. And we will try to like make it like have this program as a member ambassador in in Malaysia and Maybe, we try yeah. to start it from East Malaysia and you are the chosen one. The face of it. Amazing. I said, wow, absolutely. Yes, this is yeah. really a brilliant opportunity for me. Yeah. So um however, I do not view myself as an influencer at all. Although okay. I always do the sharing to my student, um, to the right. community about this CPA, um, to me, this term, this influencer, this term is still too far away for me. Oh, However, mm, still, um, now, it's now, hard to, it's hard to believe that, you know, a little goes a long way as an influence, you know, in this industry. Um, not, not really, but it will okay. be something that I look forward to working to it. Correct. Definitely, it will be my goal. Um, 
Yeah, however, I would not say myself, I would not view myself and say myself as an influencer mm. for now. However, I view myself as an enthusiast. Who and wish, yes, enthusiast who wish to play a more active role in shaping the future of the accounting profession in East Malaysia and beyond. That's really, really nice. That's a really good way to put it. And I, I, I love how like, Every time you share about it, you're very enthusiastic. So it speaks volume why you would call yourself an enthusiast. Oh, yeah, I'm really passionate yeah. about this. Yeah, that's good. Um, I loved hearing how you managed to get yourself into the position that you are today. Uh, that could really be very inspiring for a lot of others that want to join. Thanks, Hannah. Yeah. So kind of you. OK, mm. so in, in the context of the forever forward philosophy, how does CPA Australia kind of envision the future of the accounting profession and, you know, the key skills that you believe will be essential for the CPAs in the next decade, for example? Actually, this also reflect, just as I said, it reflect the proactive, the proactiveness, the proactive and the dynamic nature of this, of our CPA, CPA member. Okay, so for now, um, how do this are going to um, the question is that how do this context is going for yeah, us how do they envision the that, future and the key skills that you have to be, you know, that's essential for the, the next decade CPAs. Hmm. So back to just like I said, the mindset, the proactive, the, the proactive, the dynamic nature and this forever forward mindset, it lets us, okay, in, it lets us um, to um, how to put that, just give me um, this gives us always, this always gives us that belief, like, okay, we need to stay resilient, stay innovative, yeah. stay committed. Yeah. And at the same time, just now we said about the the continuous learning program, um, the opportunity to engage with different stakeholders, it right. also gives us, okay, the key skill that we need in the next decade, including right. the technological proficiency, the strategy okay. thinking, the mm -hmm. adaptability because of this forever concept it let us to have it this forever forward concept give us the mindset to to move forward to think forward so that we all actually we have that kind of mindset to mm -hmm. um to tackle different business obstacles right. with our high adaptability with our ethical leadership skill with our effective communications. So in short, I would just say um, CPA program is so, to me, I think it's so innovative and comprehensive mm -hmm. that actually um, from time to time, how they update their program, how they change the program and also through different um, CPD workshops, seminars. Right. So our members, all of us, actually from time to time, um, we update ourselves by what, 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 update ourselves by what are provided by CPA. Okay. And uh -huh. someday our skill, our knowledge, including our mindset, have been shifts into like yes, a been shifted, yeah. have been, yes, have been advanced. Especially in this evolving industry, right? This mm, evolving true. profession. And, you know, um, as two women, I know the emphasis on women's leadership has become very, very important in like all over industries, all the whole industry, all basically every industry, we, we try to emphasize women's leadership. So how does CPA Australia kind of promote and support you in leadership roles within the accounting profession? You asked the right question. I am also, yes. I'm also a woman. Yes, <laughs> so and we are big on women okay. leadership. And of course we want to know how. Mm. I would say um, CPA Australia promotes women, women leadership through the tailored program through different events, through the mentorship profession, 
mentorship opportunities and we can see that actually CPA Australia um, it emphasizes on gender equalities which is also in line in conjunction with our SDG goals one of the SDG goals sustainable yeah, development goals enough. in the world yes and also today if we browse the internet if you now you browse the internet we can easily read the news on how CPA Australia advocates for equal opportunities, support flexible support flexible work arrangement, recognize women achievement, and empowering women leaders in the accounting field. So you can see nowadays if like a lot of those um our regional head, a lot of our regional head. Oh yeah, good. They are women. Yeah, like yeah, they're women and a lot of like leadership roles, um, they're all taken by women. Amazing. That's really, really good to know. You know, especially mm -hmm. as we move forward into the years, woman leadership is always a big topic. And I'm glad to know that CPA is doing a lot in order to recognize the achievements of all these women, especially leaders. Mm, actually, that I mean, like, just like our Malaysia, Singapore, I think our regional head actually is a, is a lady. I think that really it speaks, speaks, that really speaks the action. It speaks a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. speaks a lot, yeah. That's good, that's good. Okay, we're coming on to the last few questions. So I would want to know your thoughts on how the CPA program promotes leadership and business skills, you know, more on, you could kind of relate it to the leadership in terms of women or like in terms of how you have been and how they, how they have shaped you into the person you are today. So what are your thoughts when it comes to the CPA program? Mm. Just now um, we mentioned, like just now I mentioned about the four compulsory professional okay. papers, compulsory project, uh, uh, the, the um, subject that we need to take for right. in order to complete um, the CPA program. And one of the papers just now I mentioned actually is called it Global Strategy and Leadership. Mm -hmm. So this is, I would like to highlight these professional papers because a lot of people, they say um, this is the most difficult papers among Oh, okay. the Australia yeah, you share your thoughts. Wow. Yeah. However, however, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Okay. Why, why is that? <laughs> okay. To me, this global strategy and leadership subject, this compound, this mandatory pebbles, right, to me, right. it does not just equip the candidates with comprehensive knowledge on business strategy planning, you can see from the word global strategy. So it's not just about on business strategy planning, industry analysis, market analysis, risk, risk management, and so on. But most importantly, it also provides the candidates with the insights on how the business, the future business model would look like. And from there, we can plan for our organization, we can plan ahead, we can foresee, I mean, like, I would maybe foresee is too much, but it really gives us the insight on mm -hmm. how the world will look like in the future. Then, as I said in the beginning just now, um, nowadays, I mean, like, I always share with my students, even my friends, I do not just view myself as an accountant, as an ordinary accountant. Mm -hmm. um, actually, all of us, I mean, CPA, um, we are proud to say we are strategic business advisor. Right. Hmm. Especially with all the information that you've gotten throughout the program, right? Like True. It's, it's a global perspective, you know, it's a very well-rounded prediction. Well-rounded, true, yeah. and prepare for us for the leadership roles in this dynamic business environment. That's true. Okay. That's really good. Okay. So what is your advice to those considering to join CPA? Hmm. Okay. Um, this is always a popular question as well. It is, it is. They would especially, like to know. Yes, especially um, there are different types of professional body in the world. Mm -hmm. um, however, what would be the advice is that I would say, um, my advice is that we should view, we should view CPA Australia as a commitment to holistic professional development. Mm -hmm. So it is not just, um, as I few minutes ago, as I mentioned, um, CP Australia program is not just an ordinary program, traditional program that equip us with the technical knowledge um, to be a certified chartered accountant, certified practicing accountant. It is beyond that. It, right. it gives us the leadership qualities, prepare us to become a more well-rounded professional to mm -hmm. um, 
to the dynamic environment of the business world. And also CPU Australia program gives us plenty of opportunities for continuous learning, for community engagement. Um, right. Yeah, so to, to me, um, CP Australia really is not just um, a title or mm -hmm. um, professional technical knowledge um, study program. It's, yeah, far, yeah. it's far beyond that. It's, it's far beyond that. Um, again, I would like to emphasize um, that, um, that saying, CPA of the future is a strategic business advisor. And this sentence, this saying is just so true. Understood, because yeah, it, it carries so much weight and recognition as well, other than that, right? Mm. Mm. It's not just an accountant, it's a it's lot more than accountant. that, yeah. Yeah, strategic business advisor. Okay, so what could you do if you'd like to know, what could the viewers or those who are interested to join, what can they do in order to find out more about the CPA program? Mm. If someone is interested to um, pick off um, this CPA pathway, um, there are a few ways that you can that you can know more or get the information. Um, or maybe you can just scan the QR code. I will just show it here. So if someone you're interested to know about this CPA program, you can just access to our website um, to look at the link here to access to this website and there's the information that you can attend. Or alternatively, you can scan this QR code. Lastly, you may, you may contact our CPA Australia team via this email address. Amazing. Uh, okay, so that comes to the end of our session. Very insightful. Thank you so much for all your personal stories, all your advices and enthusiasm, especially. Uh, we look forward to sharing your information with everybody out there who's interested in joining the CPA program. And it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you, Hannah. It was nice to meet you too. Thank you. We'll speak soon. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you.